If you've ever been on YouTube for even a second, you've probably seen this thumbnail. That's Sniper Wolf. She has 34 million subscribers and generally gets at least 1 million views per video and she uploads every single day. You might think that she makes some insightful commentary or something mildly interesting and just... No. No. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh, but let's have a game show. Everybody likes game shows, right? I'm gonna show you a clip of me reacting to something and I want you to tell me how close it is to Sniper Wolf's reaction. Ready? I'm not gonna lie. I think something wrong with my eyes. You said what? Something wrong with my eyes. See something? I can't take them off you. <laughs> Finish to your crush. <laughs> so was it A, not close at all, B, 50% the same, C, 75% the same, or D, word for word? Drum roll, please. It was D. We, we all knew it was gonna be D. So let's play that clip again, but this time with Sniper Wolf's reaction. I'm not gonna lie. I think something wrong with my eyes. You said what? Something wrong with my eyes. You see something? I can't take them off you. Send us to your crush. crush. Congratulations, you just lost this many seconds of your precious life. I am so, so sorry for your loss. This snippet is from one of her most popular videos, which has 46 million views. I'm sorry. 46 million, how? And maybe you think, oh, this clip is out of context or it was just a fluke. But just watch any of her videos and you can see how repetitive it all is. So if you don't get it, the reason why so many people dislike Sniper Wolf is that so many of her reactions, are, they're just the same. A big chunk of it is, whoa, that's crazy. Fake laughter. <laughs> and more than half of the commentary is just her reading the text on the video if there exactly is any. Like and a Instagram lot of it is just a play-by-play -play of what's happening. Not much original commentary going on. And I think it's absolutely hilarious that she is a high-ranking YouTuber, very successful, makes bank on her videos, and has been doing YouTube for over a decade, does not have a mic. I'm like 92% sure that she uses her built-in camera mic. And see, if I try to pull that off, this is what my camera mic sounds like. Do you see the difference? And if you don't, go see your local audiologist. I think there is an issue. And I don't got that YouTube money, but I still invested in this mic and it was like $75, including the boom arm. And I only have a little over 200 subs. And it's not even that difficult to sync audio. Let me just show you how easy it is. Step one, record your video. Step two, import your footage and audio into your editor. I use the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Step three, add everything to the timeline. Step four, having both the footage and good audio selected, right click and go to auto align clips then based on waveform and that is it i am a noob when it comes to editing and even i know the basics and i know for a fact that she does not edit her own videos because she got that youtube money and it really wouldn't be difficult for her to implement this teeny tiny little change for one of the biggest youtubers on the platform her videos are way too ugly and there's also a theory that Sniper Wolf doesn't even react to the videos and she just pays someone to write a script for her and then she acts out the script as if she's watching the video. And um, hello? Hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll be, I'll be right back. Ah! Hello, it's me, Sherlock Janelle. Don't you mean Janelle Holmes? Shut up, Sherlock Janelle sounds better. I have my detective cap on, and obviously my cigar pipe. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at the evidence, shall we? First, take a look at the glasses, Watson. You can see that from the reflection, it's white. Like reading from a Google Doc, like I'm doing right now. As you can see, there are no other significant colors like the ones shown in the videos she's reacting to. Could it be that one of her monitors is at a weird angle? I don't know. Does it look like I'm a scientist, Watson? <laughs> Point two, while she's reacting, you can see her eyes move from side to side as if she's reading a script. Is this all pure speculation? Yes, but think about it, Watson. Being a highly successful YouTuber, pumping out content every single day, you wanna streamline that process. Reacting to videos and giving commentary <coughs> might be simple enough, but why not make it easier if you can? You're probably gonna be using <laughs> fake laughter anyway. FBI, open I am. Um, I gotta go. I, uh... 
um i i don't know what just happened i i think i was abducted uh where were we oh yeah sniper wolf and jack's films Duh, how could i forget now who is jack's films you may ask he is a beloved OG YouTuber with over four, almost five million subs, which is not as many as Sniper Wolf, and that kind of hurts. <laughs> not gonna lie. Am I biased? No, yeah, we, we don't talk about that. You may know him for Yai, yeah, Your Grammar Sucks, Alexander Hamilton, Kid Stop, and so many other parodies. He loves to troll, and he looked at Sniper Wolf's channel and saw how minimal effort it was, and so he decided to make his own YouTube channel, JJ Jack's Films. And honestly, it's incredible. Once you realize how bad Sniper Wolf's content actually is, it's really hard to watch, which is what makes it fun. Jack watches her reaction, and depending on the type of video, he'll do things like grade her reaction, point out things that she could be doing better. <laughs> This is already not going to be any better than a C minus. And as of late, started making bingo cards and stock or vine sound effects. We have a bingo. It's because her videos are that predictable. It's really entertaining to watch. And if you're interested, link in the description. Now, one of the most important things about his channel is that he actually credits the creators. You see on Sniper Wolf's videos, sometimes the username watermark is either cropped or blurred out and she never links to the original content creators. So what Jack has done is in every video he makes, he credits the creators for Sniper Wolf. And honestly, I think it's so wholesome having a bigger creator stick up for you. And even if the videos do have the username intact, no one is going to be bothered to be looking up that username. And also one thing I would like to mention is that with a lot of Sniper Wolf's videos, the videos she reacts to are free boots, meaning that someone has ripped a video from the original content creator and uploaded it as their own. And it's a pretty big problem on the internet because once something goes viral, other people want to cash in and get those views. So they upload that viral video and this makes tracing back to the original content creator very difficult. So what's the beef with Sniper Wolf and Jack's films? Well, obviously Sniper Wolf is going to have a problem with this. It's been affecting her reputation. And if you look at her more recent videos, you look at that like to dislike ratio. It looks a pretty, pretty bad if I do say so myself. She's tweeted or whatever it is now insults towards Jack saying things like bro stuck in 2013 and wonders why people don't think he's funny anymore. And also I hate bringing gender into this but no one ever attacks the male react channels. This is definitely not the first controversy that Sniper Wolf has been and she's done a lot of bad things in the past. And I understand we are human. We make mistakes, but you can't get redemption until you hold yourself accountable and actually apologize for your mistakes. I won't go into all the awful things she's done in the past, but there is an excellent video on the whole timeline, so link in the description if you want to check it out. And so, okay, Sniper Wolf's content isn't fantastic and it has its own issues, so why is she still getting so many views? And that, my friends, is because of children. Children love watching funny TikToks and her videos are basically just compilations of them. And the videos have very eye-catching thumbnails and if you like one video, you're gonna be binge watching until 3 a.m. And YouTube loves Sniper Wolf because she makes bank for them. You want to know how many views she has? 24 billion! How? I don't understand. How has this happened? That would be the equivalent to every single human being on this planet watching three of her videos. Also, I'm a little bit worried when posting this video because I don't think YouTube likes it when channels criticize their top money makers. I've heard that a lot of YouTubers that make these types of videos either get demonetized, limited ads, or even a copyright strike or claim in the more extreme cases. So drop a like and a comment and cross your legs that uh, this won't happen to me. Now, luckily for me, YouTube can't demonetize me. 
because I'm not monetized yet. So please help me out. Click that subscribe button. I'm struggling. Also, if you want to contact me with a video idea or anything else, the best way to get through to me is my Instagram. Also, I made a video about the Maui fires and I would really appreciate if you could go check it out and donate because it is a very worthy cause. And thank you so much for watching and be safe.